What's going on you guys? Today I have the JBL Extreme 3 portable Bluetooth speaker. I'm going to start off by showing you the package and some of the main features of this speaker. This is the front of the box Extreme 3 with Bluetooth version 5.1 and 15 hour battery life. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. I got this at a pawn shop and I got it for $165, which is a phenomenal deal because this was basically a brand new speaker. Like the box was open and stuff, but it looked like it had never been used. And if you guys have done any looking into these speakers, they are pretty pricey at $380 retail. We'll talk about that a little bit later because Black Friday's coming up and there are some deals coming for this speaker. They have a feature called Party Boost where you can connect other JBL Party Boost speakers together and play them all simultaneously. So this is a pretty large Bluetooth speaker and with that comes some powerful sound, some powerful battery life, which is also able to charge your phone. There's a USB port in the back. You got 15 hours of playtime and that's probably at about half volume. You also get IP67 waterproof and dustproof, which means this is fully submergible in water. Yeah, and JBL Party Boost. So that's pretty much all the features you get here with this speaker. It's a it's a pretty basic speaker. Now going inside the box, really good presentation here from JBL. Inside here you get a strap, a shoulder strap, and then your charging cord. This is the charging cord that JBL includes for the speaker. It's a very nice quality JBL branded USB type C that has a fast charging and you can even use it to charge your phone if you have an Android phone. It's all one piece here. It's also pretty long. I think it's about five feet long. So they're not jipping you on a cheap cord. In this little slot are some manuals, user guide, tech specs, things like that. If you guys actually wanna pause and read this, you can do that and see some of these specs. Otherwise, I'll just be talking about it throughout the video. And a warranty registration. I believe they do a one year warranty for their products at JBL. It's highly unlikely that you would need to use the warranty within a year because JBL makes really good quality products that are reliable and last years if they're taken care of. Well, that's all for the packaging, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the speaker. All right, so here is the speaker itself. As you can see, it's a pretty large speaker, hence why they have this nice shoulder strap that they included. So I'll show you how this here works. They're, they've got these little loops on the top. It's a little hard to get on and off just because how low these sit. There's not a lot of clearance to get this clip in there. You kind of got to go from an angle, but once you get used to it, it's not bad at all. As with all JBL products, the quality on these things is just really great, and I love that they included this strap and that they didn't just make the strap cheap. It's almost like a seat belt like material, and these hooks rotate 360 degrees. The strap is adjustable, so you can adjust the lengths of it which also has a nice aluminum finish here, a little grippy here on the top, and a bottle opener on that end. On this section of the strap, they have these little rubber grippies for your shoulder, so that when you're wearing this on your shoulder, it's not sliding around back and forth. Then you have JBL branding right there, and Extreme 3 branding on the end here with the orange accents looks super sweet. Here's the speaker. This thing is hefty. It's a good looking premium design, but it's also very rugged and durable at the same time. I've always liked JBL's design on their portable speakers like this. This is the black color, but they come in multiple different colors. On the bottom here is a flat area where you can set the speaker and it's got these rubber grippies on them. They are very grippy but I do worry that over time they might try and peel off just because they're these thin strips. But so far I've had no issues. I've been using this speaker for a couple months now 
and I've really enjoyed it. As far as the portability and design of this speaker, there's one part of the design that I would change if I could, and that would be I would add a handle here on the top, and because this speaker is so girthy, you can't really, unless you have large hands, you can't really grab it with one hand. And with the strap, I found myself just getting annoyed having it on all the time because whenever I'm using this in my house, I just like to position it different places and move it around. And having the strap on it makes it hard because it just kind of gets in the way, but then you can't grab it one-handed. So it's just an awkward to move around from place to place and I wish they would have included the strap and a little handle on top that you could grab it by or somehow integrated some way that you could grab it one handed without using the strap um, because I really only like to use the strap if I'm moving around a lot with it and just keeping it on my body but if I'm setting it places in the house it's just annoying and kind of tacky to have the strap on there so that's my only complaint with this, the design. Other than that, this strap is super nice for bringing it along with you on activities. If you're longboarding around town, biking, hiking, going for a walk with your dog, going to the park. I mean, whatever it is, this is small enough and with that strap, you can just carry it with you. So Extreme 3 on the back, you've got this big old flap which keeps the speaker waterproof and on the inside here you have a USB port for charging and plugging in your phone or any other device that you need to charge your USB-C charging and an auxiliary input port so you want to make sure to keep that closed and tight if you're going to be around any water otherwise you could end up damaging your speaker on the sides we've got these big old bass radiators they move up and down that's for the bass when you're playing music, these are passive bass radiators and along the edges of it are these nice rubber bumpers that have grip on them so you don't have to worry about hitting it on a wall if you drop it or whatever. You have this nice fabric-y type material here which holds up really well to scrapes and bumps and nicks and things like that. It does like the whole dirt and dust but since it's waterproof you can easily just hose it off or bring it in the shower with you to wash it off. All right, so the top here, we've got our controls. We have the power button, the Bluetooth pairing button, the party boost button, which allows you to connect multiple of these speakers together. Volume down, volume up, play and pause. You can also skip tracks. I don't think you can go to previous songs with these controls. The power light and Bluetooth mm -hmm. If you press that, it'll get you in pairing mode and it'll flash. And down here is your battery indicator. So even though you can't tell the battery from your phone, unless you go into the app, you do have an LED indicator bar right here. As you can see, it's full and it'll go down as your battery life goes down. There's also no microphone in this, so you cannot take phone calls on the speaker as you can with many of JBL's other portable speakers. They didn't add that to this. So along with that, there's no voice assistant either, no Siri, no Google Assistant. So those are some things to consider. Just less features make this speaker more simple, which, you know, I never really use those, those features anyway, so I don't have a problem with it. But if that's something that you guys like to use, that might be a issue for you. While we're talking about lack of features, I'll go ahead and turn this on. Okay, so that second noise that it made was the noise that shows that it connected to my phone. So you could tell when I put the press the power button, it took a little bit to boot up. I'm not sure why, but for some reason this is a little bit slower turning on, which, you know, it's not much of an issue because it connects to my phone quickly. But back to lack of features, one of the big things that I think this speaker lacks for the price point is the ability to customize your EQ. If we go into our JBL portable app here, um, you can see we've got the JBL Extreme 3 connected and there's really 
not there's not really anything you can do on this app it's kind of useless for this speaker um, I mean there's software update that you can check I think when I first got this I needed to give it a software update so you definitely want to check on that uh, other than that you just can control party boost so if you do have multiple of JBL's party boost speakers together then you can control them through the app but that's really all you have here no EQ settings you can change the name of it and see the battery life. If you go to your Bluetooth settings, it doesn't show you the battery percentage like other speakers do now on Android. I'm not sure how that works with Apple. The battery life is rated for 15 hours, and I'd say that, I mean, that's pretty accurate if you were, say, using it at half volume. So we do get a pretty good battery life here, and it, and it doesn't take that long to charge especially with the charger that they included it really doesn't take too long I mean I haven't timed it but if I had to guess maybe an hour hour and a half to charge fully on that charger which is really good for a speaker of this size so the sound quality on this speaker is great but as far as the bass goes it's it's not it's really not a bass heavy speaker and I kind of expected it to be for such a large speaker with such big woofers and that's kind of why I wish there was an EQ setting for this speaker so I could customize it to get more bass out of it but I will say that the overall sound quality is very very good it's a very well balanced sound a lot of the sound of this speaker is going to depend on the environment you have it in if you have it indoors it's going to sound better and bassier my favorite way to position the speaker to get more bass out of it is like in the corner of a room, especially a small room like a bathroom. If you put this in the corner of the room, the, it'll enhance the bass so much more, make it sound so much louder and prevalent and deeper. So you can actually get a really good bass sound out of this, but only if you're in small places and have this like positioned right. Otherwise, if you're in a wide open area, the bass just kind of gets lost. So for those of you who don't just live for bass and bassy music, this speaker sounds amazing. Like it's super clear, really well defined highs, mids, and lows. The acoustics, if you're listening to acoustic music, um, they just come through super crisp and clear. You just don't get an overpowering, thumping, hard hitting bass like I kind of expected with a speaker of this magnitude. After living with it for a couple months and using it, I really haven't been disappointed with it. Now the volume of this speaker, it actually gets really loud for how small it is. Along with that, you don't get a whole lot of bass, especially once you get up to past 75% volume. The bass doesn't really increase with the volume at that point. And at that point, it's just pushing mids and, and vocals so that you can hear it from a longer distance away. The speakers are front facing only, so it's not 360 sound. But yeah, like I said, when you're outside, the sound carries actually pretty well. It's, it obviously doesn't sound nearly as loud outside as it does inside. It'll carry the sound pretty dang far, probably about 100 yards. At that point, you're really only hearing the vocals and the mids, but you don't really get a lot of bass that carries through the air. But looking at JBL's website here, you can see it's already on sale, 21% off. So you can get it for $300 instead of $380. And that's still a pretty steep price if I am gonna be honest with you guys. I bought this for $165, which I think was an awesome price, super worth it. But when it comes to paying $380 or even the sale price of $300, that's just hard to justify, especially with the, the features that this speaker lacks. It's a super solid speaker. It would probably last you years and years. I have a buddy who bought the first version, the JBL Extreme. Gosh, it's been like four years now that he's had that speaker and it's still kicking. He still uses it for work. These are super rugged, heavy duty, well-built speakers that will last a long time. So when you think about it that way, it, it helps you to justify spending the money on this. 
Um, but personally, I would not buy this for $380. I wouldn't even think about it. If you guys have the money around, you want a speaker for portability like this that you can put on a strap and take with you downtown, to the park, to the beach, whatever. Um, this is an awesome speaker for that and it can be worth the money for you guys but just personally for me like I really I really think it's overpriced now that being said on Amazon you can buy these things renewed which is something that I've really gotten into is buying renewed on Amazon because you can get really good products really nice products that are slightly used but brought back to a like new condition and you can get them for very discounted prices so right now on Amazon I'll put the link down in the description so right now on Amazon you can get this speaker renewed for two hundred and forty dollars which I think is a much more fair price for this speaker and with Amazon renewed they give you a 90 day warranty that you can return them if you're not happy with it so it's a pretty risk-free thing and most of the time these are in really good condition I think this is the way to go if you want to get a JBL Extreme 3 rather than paying the 380 or $300 price tag for a brand new one that's gonna wrap it up for the video I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time